G'day guys. Um, so I recently bought Cubase Pro 8 and I just stumbled across another uh, plugin that I forgot to mention in my first in my first look video and that's the multiband envelope shaper. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through of what it does and, and what I think about it. So first of all I've just got a drum loop, I'll play it here. Got some musical uh, information as well. So I'll just load up the envelope shaper and I'll give it, I'll tweak some, some dials and see what I can get it to do. So right off the bat, um, you can see that brings out the hi-hats so much more. So that's just increasing the attack uh, in between 5k and 15k. But we can move those frequencies around just by clicking and dragging. We can also solo bands. So you can hear that's just the hat. So let's just say I want to isolate the snare. around there. You can also increase the sensitivity so that anything within that frequency range, uh, when it hits, it either triggers the envelope shaper or it lets it through. So you can hear that peak as I bring it down. I'll just um, put it back to the default by command clicking. So let's hear that in context. I'll bypass it. You can hear that sort of brought out the snare and also the hats. Let's just say I want to cut out the kick, cut out the uh, decay of the kick. So simply I just decrease the release, might increase the sensitivity so that everything um, that comes through those frequencies uh, gets triggered. listen to that in context. We can even go as far as releasing the attack. You can hear now it's got that sort of swallowing effect. I'll just bring that back up to zero. More percussive. Then we sort of got it getting swallowed. So yeah, anyway, I'll load up a bass now. I've got both of these loops just from the media bay. So to access the media bay, it's really simple in Cubase, 8, Cubase Pro 8 now. Just option T, toggles it on and off. And then to navigate between the VST instruments rack and the media bay, you simply just press command option and press T to toggle between. So that's really cool, really easy to, to navigate around. Um, See, so yeah, I've just got this bass track that I've imported from uh, Media Bay. You can see it's nothing special. But I can make it, let's just say, more clicky. Again. I'll just increase this. So you can hear that. That's that bit of click to the bass, probably will make it cut through if that's what you need in your mix. That's just one way to get around it. Yeah, um, you can also go as far as Swallowing the bass, cut away the attack of it, 
increasing the length. You can hear that sort of roll in. We've got volume control as well. So we can either do that here or by simply dragging the graphic down as well. So yeah, all in all, I reckon it's a great plugin, great uh, addition to the Cubase uh, presets of Factory, factory Bank, sorry. Um, yeah, I reckon I'll find that I'll use it a fair bit. Um, really excited to use it on all of my stuff. And yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs>